All right, parents, how many of you have been there before? You've got to go to the relative's house, you have to load up the car, but you were tasked with loading up more than you think you can carry. In this case, I've got to carry a table, three chairs, and a couple of kid chairs for this table for a big family dinner event coming up. And this week I have the 2022 um, Toyota Sienna. This is the hybrid. And I've got lots of room in here. It's got some really good storage in the back, but I also have to have and use, which is gonna make this a little more challenging, two car seats inside. The good thing about this is these seats slide back and forth to allow me more room in the back. This is a seven passenger vehicle and I have to utilize the cargo area and fold down the back seat. So go on this quick journey with me. I'm gonna load this up the best I can and see if I can put all this in there. I haven't even tried it yet, but I think, fingers crossed, that I can do this. So parents, if you're ready, Let's parent. Now what's really nice about the Sienna is on the key fob, you can open both side doors with the push of a button. So I'm holding this one down, that one opens up. So now you can actually walk through here if you wanted to. But what's really nice about this is, um, not only do you have it on here, but it's also inside here. This button right there, there's also buttons, I believe on the inside. Yeah, there's buttons on the inside, or actually up, up top. So with this here, you can slide this forward one-handed and slide it back to create a lot more space if you are not using the back seats. But I need to use the back seats and I need to haul the kids in the vehicle today and take them to grandma's house. So there lies in the challenge that I gotta leave enough room in the seats for their leg room, the um, diaper bag and so on and slide it to a, a good spot. I may have to adjust that one at a time. Yeah, those are Pringles. Yeah, the kid's got a hold of Pringles. But here is what we're gonna do. So, open the back. XSE hybrid. So I've got this huge deep storage down here. And these, so pull to one, there you go. Now that's down. Very easy to understand. Okay, now there is our storage. The goal and challenge, of course, is getting all of that in there. So my first plan, I think, is to go for the table, maybe upside down, and then stack the chairs on top there. So let's set it up and give it a go. All right, we'll start with the table, and I think if I lay it flat, I should allow myself a lot more space on top to maneuver around. This is so cool that it's a long cargo area bay and I can still use the car seats. Now, if I do this right, how many of you played Tetris growing up? The handheld game. If I put this right here, hear that beeping? I'll tell you what that is here in a second. Well, I'll tell you what it is right now. It has an automatic lift gate with a kick feature, so I'll close the gate, the lift gate, without using my key fob. All right, did I do this right or did I do this wrong? I think maybe I'll flip this one over. There we go. And then flip, put this one right here. I just need to get it inside the lift gate, which it is. The light ones will be the easiest. All right. And something like that. <laughs> right? This problem solve. That's all we're trying to do. I wasn't great at Tetris now that I think about it. That was good enough to pass the first couple levels though. All right, okay, so now that I've got everything in there, surprisingly, and I still have room in the front seat if I want to, and I can move the uh, middle rows back a little bit for the kids. Here is the uh, kick feature for the lift gate. So the key fob is on you, underneath here. It beeps, I'm still standing right here. My hands are full, am I doing it wrong? Under here, step away, now it works. There you go. So parents, Look at all the space inside the Sienna. Table, three chairs, two little kids' chairs, 
both car seats, got room for the diaper bag and a front passenger so mom and dad can be in the vehicle and you can go and do what you gotta do for your errands. Pretty nifty. Let me show you some of the uh, cool cargo in the front seat area as well. There are lots of shelves and surfaces and right here underneath the center console area, there's a huge compartment for your purse. You can put some more snacks and other things right there. I like that quite a bit, I used that recently. Ledge right there. I'm talking about that. so many surfaces and cup holders. Uh, cup holders galore. One, two, four. There's some in the back, obviously. See some stuff in here. Cup holders inside this deep compartment for snacks. This long shelf here. And it also has a wireless charging pad inside here. So if your smartphone is compatible, just lay it on top of there. It'll charge automatically. Otherwise, I'll use my USB port because I was hooking up my phone to the uh, controls here. And with the instrument cluster, moms and dads, you can see which doors are open. So both side doors, which I can control up here. Close, close, and now they're closing and that should reflect right there. Closed and closed. And that one. Beautiful. There's different drive modes here. There is a um, an eco and I believe a sport. Yeah, that's eco and sport. Otherwise, you can be in EV mode since this is a hybrid. We haven't used it yet, but there is a drop down entertainment system. So they've got headphones and a remote control. So if your kids are old enough, they can they can work that or figure it out. You have that option. So this is a, a pretty cool overall family vehicle. And I, I've said before that this is typically a um, a mom taxi or whatever you would call it for a dad, but it's it's something for families more often than not, even though people say, yeah, I do appreciate what this has to offer. And I'm not a parent or I'm not uh, someone in my 30s with two and a half kids and trying to live the American dream. Oh, well, hey, there's a lot of, a lot of purposes and uses for it. So here's the official spec sheet, 2.5 liter, four cylinder, 245 combined horsepower, because it is a hybrid. It's got an electronic CVT, 20 inch wheels, sport tuned suspension, if you're interested in that. It's a uh, base price is, uh, well, base price, MSRP on this trim level XSE is 42 grand, but there's also the plus package, which has the wireless phone charging, uh, black roof rails, nine inch touchscreen, which is nice here with the navigation, subwoofers, amplifiers. Also has the rear seat entertainment system for 1400 bucks, HD entertainment center, 11.6 inch display, which pops down right there that you saw. So all said and done, this is 46.5. And fuel economy is 36 miles per hour, 36 miles per gallon in city and highway. It's both. So there you go. No, not your typical review, not even a review as much as a hands-on demo of a parent doing parent stuff. When you got a parent, you got a parent. And today uh, we took care of some good stuff for uh, my errands that I got to run and deliver those, those items. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section below and we'll continue the conversations there. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Hey, I wanna let you know about a new feature on everymandriver.com. It's a car payment calculator you can use anytime when you're trying to figure out what your potential loan amount is and the monthly payment figure. So what you do is you type in the vehicle price, your down payment, trade-in figure, sales tax, interest rate, and the term of the loan, click calculate, and then you'll figure out the loan amount and the monthly payment. It's a free tool now available on everymandriver.com.